Where's my stunt double? Hey guys, it is Like No Bite, and I am about to play some Spyro the Dragon. As you can tell, <laughs> I've been on a uh, kick to play some old and old games, and Spyro is part of my childhood, so I thought I'd go ahead and play this. I just finished recording some uh, Crash Bandicoot, the original, so I was sucking at that game. Accessing memory cards. Slot one. The memory card in slot one does not have a save file. Create a file now. Um, let's go ahead and make a new game. Obviously, because I never played this before. And um, yeah, let's do this. In the world of dragons, fly, fly away, Spyro. I love you so. I will be as quiet as possible during cutscenes because I don't think there are subtitles. Bro, what you do, man? Yes, you do, Spyro. I don't know why they didn't just zap him, too. He must not have been a threat to him. Which, as he'll see, he's a very big threat to him. The adventure begins now. I don't know why I sound evil, but I'm going to drink some Mountain Dew. I highly suggest you guys go and drink Mountain Dew because it's awesome. Bam. Rescued Nestor. Thank you for releasing, releasing me, Spyro. You're welcome. Sorry about that lag, guys. I'm gonna have to see if I can fix that. Oh no! Yes, we are. One. I'm gonna see if I can uh vibration on camera sound effects done inventory. Hmm. All right. Well, I feel like the uh. All right. So this is weird. I just got done playing Crash Bandicoot and yet to play with the uh, directional pads. So, oh man, I love doing this. I get you, bitch. Get back here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Wait, where's the rest of those? I love this. I love this. I love doing this. So yeah, I'm pretty sure there is a way to open like a little passage. Oh. I think I just got to jump on all these and not die. Like that. Oh man. I remember this game way too well. Can I get the uh, camera angle to go around here? Thank you. I'll go there after I get all the... Uh, <coughs> I do plan on trying to do 100% this game. Which means getting every gem in the entire game. And I'm going to get every dragon as well. A freaking audio. Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. 
Keep an eye on him. Eye on him and see what I mean. What he basically means is that my guy's health will turn colors. And this is now a safe spot, by the way. This is now a safe spot. And you can replay the dragon. So, yeah. I don't know why she's there. But, yeah. The uh, dragonfly following me will regulate my health. Which is basically die. Die. Get out of here. What are you doing? Stop you. Those are treasure chests. I'm gonna go ahead and get this one. I don't know what these different rubies are called. I just know that they are different rubies. This is basically just a starting world. Um, this is where you go to all the other different worlds until you unlock. And yes, you can burn the flowers and whatnot. I had a lot of fun doing that. And you can take this hill right here and jump like this, I believe, maybe. I think. Pretty sure you can. Yeah. And you can do that and get all these coins and whatnot. And there are sheep, which you can blow up like that, which gives you... They turn into butterflies, which makes no sense, but then you're they, he will eat them. And he goes from yellow to green to, I believe, blue. And then eventually he's just gone. And one more hit, you'll be out of there quite quickly. In the later games, I actually think he talks to you. But right now, he's not talking because, you know, I'm talking to a rescued Argus. Stop lagging. I actually think it's lagging because I'm running out of hard drive space, so I'm probably only going to do like two, maybe three episodes of this, which is going to be like 20 to 30 minutes. So, just so you guys know, that's how long my batch is going to be. And I am actually going to go kill this guy because I didn't kill him before. Because he ran away like the pussy he is. Ooh, what's in here? I do think there's a dragon down here as well. Something down here. Yes, there is. I remember this. Oh, this is brings back so many memories. It's not even funny. Hey, Spyro, press the jump button twice to glide. And, and don't be afraid. <coughs> afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks, plummeting into prehistoric glaciers. Oh, that. Hmm. I think the new Legend of Spyro games are voiced by um, the guy who played Frodo in War of the Rings. If you guys know who that is. Thief, get out of here. Where are you at? Give me those coins, bitch. There's a key in here. I know there's a key in here. It is right somewhere around here. I think there's a key in here. I might be wrong. Probably am wrong, actually, because... It has been like, I don't know, six years since I played this game. Yay! Town Square. I don't want to go there yet. Did I just, oh, I thought it fell off. Bam. I love this game so much. Um, I used to play with this with my mom too. Most of these older games, like definitely Rayman, she used to really get into Rayman. Um, we both played Rayman like nuts because we were always trying to beat it. I don't think we ever did beat it. Um, we played this game, Rayman, um, what's another one? I played Aviscope myself. She never really liked Aviscope. But um, Rayman, we played, oh, she played Crash a lot too. That's another one that she played a lot. Um, let's see. Pretty sure I can go inside this maze and there's something in here. That's an extra life. 
They come in those shells, which is pretty cool. What am I doing here? Go back in there. Camera angles can be a little funky sometimes here. Here and there. But um, that's a terrible maze. Just like <laughs> internal walls with holes in the middle. So yeah, let's go ahead and get in here and get all of these. They, they are frogs, by the way. The things that try to attack you. I'm pretty sure they're frogs. 